Well, there are still residents here in our region who are still waiting for their electric to be fully restored. This goes back to Wednesday's storms. Reporter Maya May, she joins us now live. And Maya, you had a chance to talk to a woman who is 100 years old, let's say 100 years young, who is now going on day five without power. How is she doing tonight? Well, you can see right behind me, the community continues to outpour to help her. Someone actually just drove by and saw the tree in her front yard, and he wanted to see if he had the right equipment. I spoke to the family earlier today who says the homeowner cannot get her power restored until this tree is gone. And again, they're working to break it down. After living nearly 100 years, Virginia Moody says last week's weather took the biggest toll on her home. Although she doesn't want to be seen on camera, she walked me through the damage from Wednesday's windstorm. I opened the door and, and I was all upset, surprised to see all this stuff. Even more surprised was Lachey Akba, Moody's 31-year-old great-granddaughter. Akba says she hasn't visited in a while, but when she chose to come over this past weekend, she would have never guessed she'd have to climb a tree to get inside. Hi, Grandma. Hey. How are you today? I'm okay. You sure? <laughs> Akba also learned her great-grandmother had been without power for four days. She says Moody was waiting for the city to respond to a service request. A spokesperson for the city of Toledo says they've had 691 city service requests for tree damage, and they are still receiving requests today. The spokesperson went on to say residents need to clean up their private properties. Akba sought out immediate help elsewhere. They had called the city. She couldn't get any help, so I just went to Facebook because I'm like, someone will come help my elderly grandmother. Akba says within 24 hours, more than 200 people responded to help. You had a couple people out here trying to get the scraps up off the curb and stuff, but it was just like they were doing as much as they could. The tree is too big for most materials that people usually have at their house. It probably would take a company, so to say. So, With no access to their grandmother's insurance information, Akba says they just wanted to try to clean up the debris on their own so the electric company can access the down power lines and restore electricity to Moody's home. No one came out that went for the power, like, and that's what we were worried about as far as the food going bad in the refrigerator. So that's why we were trying to get the mess cleaned up as quick as possible. And Moody refuses to leave her home. So for now, family members take shifts to care for her. And she says she believes it will be cleared up soon. But with no electricity, her only entertainment is the view from the porch. The good Lord is taking care of me, and I know he is. The city of Toledo currently advises residents to collect their debris, bundle it, take it to the curb, and call trash services for bulk pickup. For now, I'm Maya May in Central Toledo for WTOL 11.